hey everybody welcome back to my channel now before we get started if you do find yourself enjoying my content or you have enjoyed any of my content if you'd like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it but i'm not going to beg anymore so today just to prove a point once again let's flog that dead horse it's 2022 and you get your track mat or you have a your small child or your first time collector gets their track mat and they can see all the things that they need to buy or can buy to get themselves the layout that's on the mat so that's what we're going to stick with in this video and this will once again highlight some of the absolutely bonkers crazy prices that these things now cost now obviously you're going to get a track mat you can either buy one but let's be honest the most sensible thing to do is to buy a train set which you will get with uh, with your train set i should say you will get your track mat which will look like this from time to time they've changed them so you're going to go and you pick a train set so here are some of my ones here um you're likely to get with your intercity express or you want to start off with a decent sized one and you're going to get this is the track mat this is how it looks when it comes in so your decent sized train set will negate the fact that you'll need uh, track pack a so something with that comes with third radius and side ends you won't need a track pack a track packs generally look like this this is e which i paid something like 17 quid for a couple of years ago but um so yes yeah, so this is what we're going to do today so we're going to go on to hornby site first and the train set we're going to go with is the high speed train set uh, that will come with your third radius curves uh, you're straight you get a set of points uh, you get your controller everything you need to basically get started and your track mat will be in here so we're going to purchase that this will also mean that we don't need track pack a because obviously we've got what track pack a is we've got that already in the train set however if you do buy just a basic oval you will need track back track pack a but for the purposes of this we're not going to do that so now we're going to head over to the track extension packs which used to be crazy cheap i say used to be we're not talking that long ago so track pack b is going to be 43 pound 99 i'm not really sure why these aren't in order on this site but hey ho and the site was really slow for me when when i was making this i don't know whether they're going to hit me with a ban hammer before long <laughs> for all the shit i've been giving them but in fairness i'm the kind of guy who will praise where praise is due so there we are 43.99 just to show you there and um, we're gonna click put that in the basket i'm very aware you can see my toolbar but don't worry you can see everything i look at is pretty normal and mundane so b yep 43.99 which is kind of bonkers money i've got to be honest but at this point you're not here to expect these to be cheap so we're going to go back to the main menu now and we're going to put c in there as well obviously we're avoiding a just remember as this, as this goes through this video we are avoiding a we don't need it so this track pack c is now going to set us back one at 41 pound and 49 pence now when you consider so far all we've got is a train set to get us started with necessities and we've got two track packs this is going to work us towards having our third radius our second radius on the inside um, and then obviously we can get all our points and everything else which is going to give us the first radius on the inside so we are going to need extension pack e as well which is a lovely 29.49 for in essence is five pieces of simple track work now I know probably people have probably worked this out and, and thought this, but it's actually quite staggering at what this hobby is going to cost you to get into. And let's be honest, I know a lot of people don't use the track mat, but it's supposed to give you an idea of what your average track layout is going to look like, what your average sort of child would want, or maybe your adult's going to start with, or maybe someone who just you know isn't really that serious. So we've got E in there now. We're going to move on to D, and uh, track pack D is a staggering price. But when you consider they sell the level crossing on its own for like 40 quid, which is absolutely bonkers in my mind, £65.35 is nasty. It's damn right nasty for what you're getting in that pack, but this is what we've got to do. So we're going to get that in there as well. I do apologize, it's a bit slow in the background. I'm not really sure why my internet seems to be fine. It's just this site doesn't seem to want to load. 
so we're gonna get that in there bear in mind we're not doing buildings i'm not adding the building packs or any of that that you can see so this is the track mat down here on their site showing you what it could look like so we're not adding any of that stuff engine sheds well that's another i don't know two 200 quid maybe more but we're just going for the track right now just to show how brutal it is and and also something else to bear in mind is we haven't got a second controller um you know or sec or trains anything we've literally got one loco that comes in our set which is kind of bonkers really so finally we got that here that's 65 pound 35 we're gonna bang that in and uh, last on our list here is going to be f pack f i'm gonna get that in which uh, again is another 41 pound and 25 which is by now your uh, credit card or your bank balance isn't shaking in its boots i don't know what it will be but that's it so what we're going for here is you so far so we got one train set with one controller we've got the trap packs to make the layout that is suggested on the mat that you get with a train set now you're going to need another controller which is another bit of money you're going to need all the buildings if you want to make it look like this but even if you don't you're still going to want a couple of buildings you know remember this is how you get started this is how most people get started i would say and ch and children get started now we're going to scroll down as a guest to give you an idea of the cost so direct from hornby you can see them here we got the high speed train, we got track pack B, we got C, we got E, we got D, and we've got F. And that comes to £379.56. Sorry, I lie. It comes to £379.56. Oh, look, Angry Joe's live. That is a crazy amount of money. Now, back in the day, you'd have been able to pop onto Hatton's or your local retailer and save an absolute fortune. So I've added everything here, to be fair, that I've had in the Hornby basket. And we're going to come down and we're going to see that it's 341 pound so the savings just really aren't there you know you're saving about 40 quid let's call it round it off but you still are going to need your buildings you're going to need your extra controller so i looked did look briefly at the building packs but my my heart was sinking at that point because i thought for anyone who wants to get started it's crazy so let's just say for your track map you know, I could go and add the buildings on to track map with your buildings, with everything. And then you've got to buy another loco, which is probably best to buy a cheap little train set when there were cheap little train sets. You're talking like £600 to even get started in this hobby. That's, that's just mind-blowingly crazy money when you consider this hobby does generally start from children. A lot of children have a gap when they grow older and then they think, oh, I fancy doing that again as a hobby. Who the hell has got that kind of disposable income as an average person to get the most basic looking layout? Who would want to? Another, just absolutely crazy stuff. You know, when you consider, if you go back to the beginning of my channel, I think it was about two, three years ago, I bought all of this stuff and I bought it nearly all brand new and I was buying it for, for next to nothing. Nobody can tell me this is to do with current economics and things that are going on look price rises of course this are we at greed are we at the point where it's just really really greedy because they know your average person when they get into model rabies is gonna think of hornby they're gonna go oh i know hornby hornby when i was a kid my granddad had hornby everybody i had hornby you know it's available in places like wh smith and argos and even like sometimes it's available in marks and spencers they did their own set and parents are likely to go to local places to pick them up. It's not until you get into the hobby that you're going to find a good, reliable model shop or online retailer that you can stick with or that you, that you really do enjoy buying from and you get a great service. But, you know, you're not going to save that money. There are a few out there which are saving some, some good money, but not anymore. This, this hobby is crazy. When you bear in mind, I do motor racing. I actually do proper motor racing. And it's actually cheaper as a hobby, which you would never think, than what this is becoming. So there we are. I've had my moan for the day. And, um, you know, nothing you don't already know. But if you are looking to get into the hobby and you're wondering what this track mat's going to cost you, if this is what you're going to set up for your, your grandson or your son or your daughter or niece, whatever it's going to be, just be aware, unless you're going and buying second hand, and even the second hand market is starting to take the piss a bit, I've got to be honest. 
um, you are in for a shock. It isn't going to be the cheap little hobby you probably remember. So I have got some videos uh, which I'm in the middle of working on uh, coming soon. So there'll be, I got the train set, the iTraveler 6000. I've got that to sort out, which is, uh, I got for a very good price, which was surprising. Um, I've got my first Backman locomotive, which I need to sort out. And I've also got the, uh, my funny enough, my first packet, which I thought, everyone's bored, of, or bored to hell now of packets, but do you know what? I might give my take on that anyway, seeing as, you know, I am a beginner and all that. So, um, yeah, I've got plenty of stuff. I'm just, I have so little time. Um, I'm trying my best because I really do enjoy doing this stuff. So um, I hope everyone's keeping well. And uh, I'll let this run in the background just so you can see it all again. And I'll see you on the next one.